The chants are loud and unforgiving. Go home, Gota. Return our stolen money. We want our future back. People are struggling to afford food, medicine, cooking gas and fuel as Sri Lanka faces its worst economic crisis since independence in 1948. Yeah. Because this is, uh, it's mainly um, for children, it's milk powder. Uh, and for uh, even adults are affected with uh, lack of milk powder, fuel, uh, so many things, uh, rice, uh, everything has gone up. Many people blame the Rajapaksa family for the crisis. From heroes who oversaw the military victory over the Tamil Tigers in 2009, family members have now become a target of anger and ridicule. What is very unfortunate is the sense of entitlement that they have that they are meant to rule this country, almost like a royal family. And that sense, I think, comes from the fact that they were in charge when the 30-year war came to an end. And they feel that they are the saviors of the country. Pereira and other analysts say the Rajabaksa government took out big loans for giant infrastructure projects after the country's civil war ended and cut taxes. The president has admitted failure. Anti-corruption activists also allege billions of dollars may have been made from illegal deals in recent years. We lodged so many cases. We have more than 500 files. All are in the court, but nothing happened. No. Some cases are hearing, it's not uh, ending. Some cases are going, but uh, some uh, uh, came back by the bribery commission or CID because evidence not enough and some uh, technical matters. The Rajapaksas changed the constitution twice. Critics say this allowed them to contest an unlimited number of terms in the presidential office, weaken parliamentary oversight and remove checks and balances against the politicization of public services and the police. The unprecedented protest in recent weeks has worried the ruling family. President Gotabe Rajapaksa has brought in a new prime minister and a new cabinet. But despite the demonstrations, the Rajapaksas still control a majority in parliament and the president is refusing protesters' calls to step down. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.